With every season of anime, I always try to prioritize the most popular and hyped up series than the romance stuff. Because even though romance is one of my favorite genres, I know it's not going to be up there in popularity. Not until I saw Dangers in My Heart Season 2, with the highest score of the winter season with an 8.81 as of recording this. It's higher than Ninja Kamui, Solo Leveling, and even Blue Exorcist. I saw season 1 and I thought it was a cute series, even though it's basically like every romance series out there. But I haven't checked out season 2 and I want to see why it's so hyped up right now. But if you guys want to see more anime content like this one, then why not go down and hit that subscribe button. So join me in my not so weird discord mod cave and let's get into the dangers in my heart. So first of all, you have Ichikawa, a short emo middle schooler who's very antisocial and loves reading murder books. Then there's Yamada, a girl in his class who's a professional model and loves to eat. And together they try to hang out and they slowly start falling for each other. Now, like I said, I've watched a lot of romance series in the past and you can always predict most of the things that are going to happen. There's a ton of romance cliches that a lot of new series love to punch in like it's a bingo card or something. And with this series, I felt like it was going to be the same thing. But I still really enjoyed this series and I can see why it stands out compared to the other dozens of romance series out now. Story-wise is basically the same thing with most series. A ton of school life cliches, a lot of episodes dedicated to holidays, sick days, sharing umbrellas, school trips, and just so much more. Now that doesn't make the series bad, it's just repetitive, but the characters usually carry those types of episodes. The highlight episodes I've seen though are when they're original, like Ichikawa having to make a graduation speech, so the whole episode he's just trying to hype himself up. Or in the latest episode where Ichikawa gets worried of an online fan making comments about Yamada. But every time you watch a new episode, the series changes. Compare any season 1 episode to a season 2 one and the vibes are just different. Let's take Nezakoi for example. An episode would start and would have the same formula as the next one and then the episode going forth. Now it's not a bad thing, but if you were to change the order of when you watch those episodes, there wouldn't be a difference. Now in the dangers of my heart, you can't do that because every episode shows a progression that affects the whole rest of the series which is a good thing it's rewarding whenever you watch the next episode and it will make you feel way better when Ichikawa and Yamada eventually do end up together but now what about the characters again with romance cliches you can always point out the certain stereotypes and characters like the Tsunades the shy quiet ones the hyper best friend and of course the copy and pasted plain male interests Thankfully for the two main characters, it's not too stereotypical. Ichikawa is memorable in both design and personality. I mean, he just looks like a regular emo kid that you'll be seeing at a local Hot Topics. But I'd rather have him over these guys. Yamada though isn't really much of a stereotype, but more of just plain at first sight. It's not until Ichikawa starts getting to know her is when we, the audience, also start learning about her. But with that being said, some of the side characters are a bit stereotypical and not on purpose like with Comic Can't Communicate. Thankfully, they're not much of a focus for most episodes and some characters even feel forgettable at points. But there are some good side characters like the perverted dude in class, the sister of Ichikawa, and Sekine. But a big difference I see in this series compared to most is the amount of inner struggles that Ichikawa has to go through and why Yamada is the reason why he's changing. For most series, whenever a male interest falls for a girl or vice versa, there's no real change in character. The only struggle we see is if the interest had either parent problems or jealousy. There's a lot of perfect love interests nowadays and without flaws they just feel unrealistic and boring. Ichikawa is growing as a person. Yamada is the same way but we don't see her flaws at first so it's not much of a shock as uh, Ichikawa's. In season 2 though, it gets even better because Ichikawa gets little fictional guardian angels representing his heart and his uh, you know what. While Yamada is getting more clingy and jealous, we see more of that comedic death stare now than before. They're also starting to become teenagers, I mean they're middle schoolers, so their hormones are getting to both of them, which is normal. By season 2 not only have they changed a lot, but they're actively growing as people, not just romantic interests, which I don't really see in a lot of series. Because The Dangers in My Heart is a special series. Sure, it's filled with a lot of cliches and it's not very original, but it's a classic romance comedy about kids growing up and learning. 
a lot of romance series rather focus on the romance and fan service aspect instead of the character development. Now yes, this series does have a lot of fan service as well, but the progression and the story overcome that. The progression is what makes the reward at the end feel more satisfying. While watching the latest episodes, I was so invested that I actually started rooting and getting emotionally invested in this love story. I binged the entire season in one day and it made me feel like I've known these characters for months. I haven't felt that watching a series in a very long time. But isn't that the point? To get the audience passionately engaged in these stories? Well, the dangers in my heart managed to do that and that's why the, I'll be giving this series a good 9.5 out of 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've seen the dangers of my heart, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.